How's it going everyone? Andrew Sundoku back with another unboxing for you. Before I get into this little humble unboxing here, I have kind of a fun story to tell you. I talked about it before in other videos, but Abs and I pre-ordered a copy of Dark Souls 3. Now this came out uh, Tuesday. I'll be putting this video up Saturday. So this came out Tuesday. Uh, we, we got it, we played it. It was phenomenally good. Um, difficult as shit. And this is actually my first Dark Souls. I don't know there's, if you guys care to see. There's not much really to look at because you can't really tell what the hell is going on. Um, but we got the day one edition, which is neat. The, the game is unbelievably difficult. And I knew this going in because people have told me. But I was kind of like, whatever, right? Because I played difficult games and you got in and plus didn't really care too much. This is where the funny part comes in. It comes out Tuesday. Uh, a week before that Tuesday, my house was actually broken into and robbed. Uh, they took my PlayStation 4, they took three computers that I had, uh, a pair of Studio Beats headphones, um, a monitor, a bunch of other stuff, a lot of cash that I had in the house. So. Lesson to be learned here, my friends, uh, do not leave your windows unlocked, and if you feel like they could easily become unlocked because the house is 100 years old, my windows are old, uh, you need to put, like, a beam of wood against the windows so assailants cannot sneak in and steal stuff. But, regardless, it's just stuff. I'm safe, I'm fine. It can be replaced. Uh, Lesson two to be learned is to back up the files on your computer and PlayStation frequently because the very first thought that uh, I had when I had heard the news that my PlayStation was stolen is, oh shit, my Minecraft world is on my PlayStation. But four days prior to the robbing, I actually bought N or, uh, PlayStation Plus for a year uploaded my Minecraft world online, therefore the only data that is safe is my Minecraft world, so I wasn't really worried about that. Bought a new PlayStation uh, within hours of the robbing because I couldn't handle. And the police really were not helpful, let me tell you. Um, I don't know where police do where you guys are, but there, the three guys came into my house. One sat there, kind of just going... Hmm. The other two were like kind of concerned, you could tell. And I asked them, one of them, straight up, I was like, what are the odds of my stuff ever coming back? And they were like, ha, never. It will never happen, you will never see any of it again. I was like, oh, okay. And one even pushed it further to be, I don't know if he was more of a dick or to be more funny. But he was like, you know how on NCIS and all those crime dramas, they like dust for fingerprints and they pull like fibers and stuff? He's like, we don't do any of that. Your stuff is not that important to us. And I was like, Okay, like, honestly, I'm, I'm glad he was honest, because, to be fair, I just wanted to know whether or not I should start replacing things. Um, so, like I said, bought the PlayStation that day. And what I'm thinking is, it was someone who made Dark Souls 3. Because if the game is so difficult, they were like, in my mind, trying to stop me from even playing it before it came out by stealing my PlayStation. But it didn't work. I am too good, and I bought another PlayStation, and I bought Dark Souls 3, and it was very fun, but very frustrating. If you've never played a Dark Souls game, like I had never played a Dark Souls game, I highly recommend before you purchase it though, uh, to watch video footage of it online, to make sure it's the game that you actually want to play, because had I known it would be this difficult, I would not have cared as much about it. Not to say that it is not good, it's very good, um, and it's very fun. But I thought there would be like a difficulty setting, maybe? That, there was none of that, it was just only ass kick mode, and Ape and I just got our ass kicked repeatedly. Toward the end, we had played like six hours, and I was about to drive him home. And he was like, in my mind, I was like, I've wasted six hours of my life, because we finished like the tutorial stage, and that was about it, in six hours. Like it was a maddening game. And uh, Abs was like, before we, we go to leave, he's like, I feel so good, we, we made so much progress. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, that was amazing, we did so well. In my mind, I thought that we did a 
his poor job. Um, so, if, if you have not yet played it, odds are you're not a glutton for punishment, and there's a reason that you've not yet played it. So check it out online, but it is gorgeous. It, the, like, visually, it looks beautiful. Um, anyway, moving on to the unboxing, because I'm impatient. Uh, we have, for you today, the full run of Gestalt. And Gestalt is done by just Viz, uh, and it's they retail for $10 a piece. They are out of print. Um, someone put a sticker on one. But they're very out of print. And I actually read the first two volumes like years ago, and I've been trying to find a someone that I can buy them from um, without paying too much money. And typically I see them go on eBay for like 60 to 80 dollars because there's eight books and people are like, yeah, 10 dollars a book seems right, but I'm not paying a finder's fee to get them all at once. Um, in fact, if anything, I should get them at a discount because you're not a retailer, you don't have money to make, and I don't know what condition they're in. And these actually look like they're in fantastic condition, which I'm very happy about. Um, but Gestalt, so I can finally finish what I started. And because there's only eight, I very, I really like short series, so I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm actually going to reread the first two again, uh, because truthfully, I do not remember. I just remember bits and pieces, and I don't want to say anything and be wrong about it. So, there's that, and there's Dark Souls 3, and if you have anything to say about any of them, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And if not, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.